Hey everybody, this is Brittany with Scribbles by Brittany. Uh, so I wanted to break up the whole what's been going on in the news here recently. Um, I've actually been recently laid off by my job, but that's besides the point. So I might actually have a little bit more time to spend with y'all. Uh, but anyway, this piece of artwork was the way it ended up was not how I intended it to end up. And that's what happens when you go into uh, coloring something without a solid plan. Um, and I'm not talking like you gotta color out every little detail on a separate sheet of paper. I'm just talking like play in your colors and stuff because you'll notice in this one I had absolutely no real plan of any colors. It, I just winged it, and that is probably my worst case possible. Sometimes, sometimes when I don't plan it, um, excuse my very rude dog. <laughs> He's very rude right now. <laughs> okay, I am back. Uh, sorry, my dog is extremely rude when it comes to me recording. Um, that's actually him whining, if you can hear that. Uh, but anyway, this, I don't even know where I was when I, um, when I last talked about, but, uh, when I was doing the sketch, I absolutely love the sketch. Um, however, I think I could have changed the, the way I colored it. Um, and then on top of that, how I colored it, or even just the, the type of product that I used. I... I could, ooh, excuse me, uh, I probably could have went watercolor on this entire piece and it would have turned out beautifully. Granted, that's not the paper that I had used. I had used a regular cardstock for it, so that kind of, when you're doing, when you're using watercolor or acrylic on, um, uh, like a marker cardstock, it, it tends to, be, uh, the water will dry, but it will, like, bevel, I think is what the term is. I'm not too sure. So, yeah, this is kind of, this was just the, I didn't want to do hard, hard inking um, until later on. Um, but I chose, uh, I chose to use uh, Copic markers for it, and I just don't think I had the, I don't know, maybe the skill level was too far, but that's how you learn when, you, when you're when you doing something. Um, it's okay to make bad art, and this is like, yeah, <laughs> this is itself, like, this is bad art. <laughs> um, and yeah, there are a lot of stuff that I could have done differently. And I might make a video where I choose to better it or change something or you know anything like that so so don't be a so basically what i'm saying is don't be afraid to make bad art everybody does it um i just choose to record apparently doing bad art <laughs> so and you can tell like even in the video, I'm trying to choose my colors quickly, um, not spending a whole lot of time because sometimes I'd have to like cut that type of stuff out and excuse me while my dog is whining again. <laughs>
I think when I, I wasn't planning this out, obviously, but I think if I would have went in with like watercolored pencils and done the bird and everything with that, I think it would have turned out so much more beautifully. Or even the background. If I would have went with the background with watercolored pencils, because I do have a limited supply of them, I think it would have turned out in a completely different ball ballpark. Um, and obviously you can see the, the color scheme that I was going with on the bird was like that crow, raven-esque, um, dark brooding feel um it it definitely was a task going through every single like feather <laughs> um and i maybe that is there's so much that i could have done differently on this piece just because i messed up so bad um and again like i am dogging my artwork for days but i see everything differently than your average person like i i can sit here and show you the piece of artwork and everybody's gonna be like oh my god that looks amazing like you did such a great job and and i'm like i see all the mistakes <laughs> and i see all the flaws of it and i i see it all and that's that's what i don't I don't like about the way I am because I'm not saying that I'm a perfectionist, but when it comes to my art, I like to be. I like to have amazing art and I think this is why I'm putting this out this out there is because no matter how good you are and how how much talent you have and you could be pooping out rainbows and someone's going to critique it like somebody's going to be like oh nope that's not rainbow enough eh, to hell with it you know so and i think right here is where everything got pulled together so beautifully like that color ombre look of it was absolutely gorgeous like i just love how all the colors just popped and i don't know where the fuck i went wrong <laughs> i'm like i probably should bleep that out i just don't know where i went wrong <laughs> maybe i do maybe i don't but that the, the the way the feathers all laid and everything with the color was absolutely beautiful like i and i think maybe i went wrong with the background uh i think the background might have screwed it up uh there's just so much, there's so much that I could have done differently. I really could. Um, but you can see, like, I'm right now in awe about how actually well I colored it right in this area. And I think I should have kept it as is right there. Like, I should have never went over it with, I think I went over it with like a purplish color. And... Or like a darker blue or something and it muddied it up really bad um i'm pretty sure you'd be able to see it like incoming like it, i know it's coming <laughs> like for sure um yeah so yeah don't worry don't get me wrong there are things that i do like about the artwork uh there's some things like that just did not transpire right See, right here is where it's getting really, really muddy. Um, and I think that was my mistake. Like, I made it way too dark. And I could have kept it different. Um, yeah.
I uh, made the mistake in the background. Um, and again, I think that has to go with a lot with planning. So when I had originally done it, I actually erased the, um, the, the hard pencil lines. And when I should have grabbed for the, when I grabbed for the yellow instead of grabbing for the gray, that's where I made the mistake and I just colored yellow. I just colored yellow. And I should have, I should have taken my gray and went in and done the clouds first. That's, that was one of the mistakes and I, it definitely shows towards the end on how muddied it kind of got and how it just does not look good. So that's part of the mistake. I did try to salvage somewhat a little bit of it when I went in and added um, white highlights with the gel pen. So that's kind of where I tried to salvage it. I also tried to salvage it with making sharper edges on the, the clouds to make it a little bit more spooky and haunting, I guess. That was definitely the feel I was trying to go for was the the haunting part of it. I don't know if it actually transpired the way that I wanted it to, but that's how it happened, I guess. Uh, not my best piece of artwork. Uh, again, I am really dogging on my artwork and it just goes to show how artists view their own artwork in comparison to how other people view it. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just we are our own worst critics. We are. We are terrible when it comes to that. And that's... I don't know where else to... I, I really don't know where else to go from this. Uh, I gotta plan out my videos a little bit better, so you guys gotta let me know in the comments and stuff what you guys want to see more of, what you guys want to hear more of. I'm just starting out with these whole video processes and stuff, so I'm I'm learning along the lines and trying to get more content and make it a little bit more fun for you guys to watch. I know my voice kind of sucks, but hey, <laughs> hey, there I am, dogging on myself again. But... I definitely try to make jokes and keep everything light and fun. So, uh, if you have made it to the end, which I'm pretty sure if you've made it this far, thank you. I appreciate it. If you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the little bell that is down below that says subscribe. Uh, that will show tell you about the notifications if... I make more videos and stuff, it'll give you, like, first, I don't want to say first dibs, but you'll get notified and then you can watch it whenever. So, thank you for all of those who have made it this far. I appreciate all of my followers, my, my peeps, uh, and I hope that maybe I can create better content in the future. Uh, I'm just trying to figure this out. So thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you. And continue to inspire. That's the motto.